hey guys welcome back to our channel this is aditya so today let us learn about another interesting biology lesson called tissues tissues are a group of cells that have similar structure and together perform a specific function mary frankois xavier bichet coined the term tissue in the year 1792 First let us learn about plant tissues. Plant tissues are found in plants. Plant tissues are divided into two parts which is the meristematic tissues and permanent tissues. Meristematic tissues are the most active tissues in the plants. They are found in the growing regions of the plants. They are made up of bunch of thin walled cells that keep on dividing. to produce new cells they have huge nucleus and not have a central vacuole vacuole is not present in meristematic tissue because there uh, there is no uh, work of uh, storage or in storage so uh, vacuole's main work is uh, sto uh, storing things so there is no need of storage in meristematic tissues and hence there is no vacuole Meristematic tissues are divided into three parts: apical, lateral, lateral, and intercalary. This is the diagram of the meristematic tissue. The first, let us learn about apical meristem. Apical meristem is found in roots and shoot tips. They are responsible for unilateral growth. Unilateral growth is the vertical growth of the plants as you can see in the diagram the first diagram shows the uh, unilateral growth um, which is the upper part of the plant and the second diagram shows the below uh, part of the plant which, which are the roots now let us learn about lateral meristem lateral meristem is responsible for the horizontal growth of the plants this is also known as secondary growth this is present in only dicot plants apical meristem causes primary growth which is the vertical growth of the plants whereas the lateral meristem causes the secondary growth which is the horizontal growth now let us learn about intercalary meristem which is the last part of the meristematic tissue this is present in the base of the leaves which is the nodes and in the internodes in this diagram you can see the intercalary meristem the internode and where the growth occurs so till now we have learned that meristematic tissue is the most active tissue they they are divided into three parts apical meristem which is responsible for the vertical growth intercalary meristem is present in the base of the leaves which are the nodes and internodes and the lateral meristem which helps in the horizontal growth or the secondary growth of the plant so now we are going to learn about permanent tissues permanent tissues are permanent as the name suggests and do not change their structure meristematic tissues keep on and on dividing and form permanent tissues their vacuole is so large that it covers 95% of the cell's volume permanent tissues are then again divided into two parts complex tissues and simple tissues complex tissues are the tissues that are made up of two or more cells and are complex and are called complex tissues it is further divided into xylem and phloem xyl first let us learn about xylem and then phloem xylem is derived from a greek word xylen which means wood it is composed of thick pipes which carry water and other fluids response which are needed for the plants phloem helps in the transport of food that are made in the leaves of the plants now let us learn about simple tissues simple tissues are divided into three parts parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma first let us learn about parenchyma parenchyma has a large vacuole initially it is circle in shape it is responsible for the process of photosynthesis 
it gives color to the fruit and parenchyma tissues are living now let us learn about colenchyma colenchyma have thick walls at the corner like parenchyma even these tissues are living they give flexible support to the plant and are tightly packed the last one is the sclerenchyma sclerenchyma is also a type of simple tissue unlike the parenchyma and colenchyma this uh, is this tissue is dead parenchyma and colenchyma are live cells whereas this is dead they have secondary walls and they give mechanical support to the plants as you can see in the figure the first figure shows the parenchyma the second one shows the colenchyma which are tightly packed these two are live cells whereas the sclerenchyma as shown in the third figure they are dead till now we have learnt about meristematic tissues and permanent tissues this this is the overall diagram of this now let us learn about animal tissues humans also come under animals animal tissues like plant tissues are divided into uh, a lot of types the first one is the epithelial tissue this is the thin covering of of the body and uh, it gives a protective layer to the body example skin lining of mouth <coughs> lining of blood vessels etc are example of epithelial tissues as told there they pro, uh, they protect our body for example skin protects the muscles which are under it animal now let us learn about uh, epithelial uh, tissues appearance they appear in the form of cube they are called cuboid cuboidal example are kidney tubules squamous it is derived from a latin word squama example are blood vessels the last one cylinder the other name for this is the con conorama let us talk about the layers of epithelial tissues if it constitutes of only one layer then it is known as simple tissue like cubo uh, simple cuboidal simple squamous simple cylinder a uh, sin uh, sorry simple conorama simple conorama if it constitutes of two or more layers then it is called stratified it is called as stratified cube stratified squamous but for cylinder it is known as pseudo stratified cylinder i tell you why this is see as you can see the first one is the simple squamous below that it is the stratified squamous next to that is the simple cuboidal below that is the stratified cuboidal next to that is the simple columnar below that is the pseudo stratified columnar as you can see in some some of the tissues they are uh, thin at the bottom and bulged at the top whereas in others they are bulged they are bulged in uh, they are bulged from bottom and thin at at the top here pseudo means uh, false so it is known as false stratified columnar which is pseudo stratified columnar this is the re reason we call pseudo stratified columnar i hope you have understood this the next type of tissue is the muscular tissue muscular tissue helps in the movement of our body there is a protein which is called the contractile protein which helps the muscles to contract muscular tissue is divided into three parts skeletal tissue smooth tissue and cardiac tissue first let us learn about skeletal tissues as we know skeletal tissues are attached to the bones of the body smooth tissues as the name suggests they are very smooth and the walls of the smooth tissues are hollow example can be intestine stomach etc cardiac muscles they are uh, present uh, in places like heart etc this is the diagram of of uh, the skeletal smooth and cardiac the first one is the skeletal muscle the second one is the smooth muscle and the third one is the cardiac muscle muscle or tissue now let us learn about the third type of animal tissue which is the connective tissue connective tissue 
pro uh, provides support to the body it is responsible for the transport of materials it also helps in the storage within within the body as you can see in the figure they they are linked or they are connected with each other and hence you cannot see any gaps between them the last type of animal cell and the last for this chapter is the nervous tissue nervous tissue is composed of nerves spinal cord and brain nervous tissue is divided into two types neurons and neurogyla neurons work is to pro process and uh, transmit the information neurogyla provide metabolic and structural support for neurons this is the diagram of the neural tissue as you can see in the middle there is a nucleus near the tail there is a axon there is the cell body and the neuron neurogyla is uh, shown separately the front part which you see like roots the full part including the nucleus is called the neurogyla hope you have understood the session if you have any doubts ask us in the comments box if you have not subscribed to our channel subscribe and if you like this video like this video thank you